Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! Need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Father! Hey! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Father. Connor, any last words? Wait. A poor choice. <clears throat> Come to check up on Church? Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom. Justice. Independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. <sighs> Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. And what do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. Ahoy! Any luck? I found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is... quite spoilt. Plague and perish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Says Ornigold, a pirate, now too proud to call himself one. He prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. Or if a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil. And all men will submit. And would you be the devil? Find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, I'll handle it myself. <laughs> <laughs> 